said these. Well, I found another good use for this bumper. I can put my tire changer in here. It's pretty sweet. First thing I gotta do is uh, take these bolts out. Set the rim on here and just find two holes that line up. And now I got the rim bolted on there. Found two holes. And the rim's not exactly center on this post, but it's not gonna make that big of a deal, make that big of a difference. So now I'm gonna get the tire. And soap is your best friend. Let's spray a little bit on the rim. Top and the bottom bead. And spray some soap on my tire. Um, might be able to manhandle it on there. First bead. Use pretty easily. Spray the second bead. My fancy tire tool, my friend Brian gave me. And I always start, make sure the tire is up in the well of the wheel so that it's all the way over. I always start at the valve and kind of hold the rim with one hand, keep it from turning. It's been a while since I've done this, but I just kind of hold things still. around my truck and it helps if you push keep it down in the well so that the tire has room to get over there and that's it and uh, feels like the beetle set quite nicely because I did not have a bead seating tool I have used a wrench strap that's pretty much it it's a great little tool to have if you got an ATV a tractor or anything taking me I don't know, it took me probably 30 seconds to put it on there. Uh, if you had some wing nut 3 8 bolts, that would make things a lot faster and easier. But other than that, that's about it. So thanks for watching. And if you want to learn how to make one of these, um, like I said, there's another video I have. It's the only video I have that has any views. It's really handy. Uh, it's, I got the idea from tirepliers.com you can buy these they mount it's an Australian company they mount right on the front of a car or workbench if you have you know the mounting uh, uh, receiver tube thing so thanks for watching